Okay, what am I using to make these videos, the images, the websites, all that kind of stuff? What is happening? Welcome back to another Q&A by Long Crack. And today's question is by myself, but I just wanted to get this out there in case you guys were doing some posting to social media or thinking about making some videos for to put on YouTube, to embed in your website, to use on Facebook, to use on Instagram, to all these little things. Like I think the stuff I'm using is very user friendly and it would be a great option uh, as something to, to try to learn if you are trying to get into this because some of these things can get really super over complicated and just ridiculous like Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator and Premiere Pro for example like I just got all these programs about a month or two ago and I'm still like a super novice on them although I am improving uh, slowly but let's start with images so I highly 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 recommend Canva I am a Canva certified creative I get little perks for it, but I mean, Canva's free, so there's no like affiliate thing for them. Some of these are affiliates, and if you don't know what affiliates are, uh, basically, you know, I get a small commission, you get the best deal, and that's how affiliates work. So just, just to put that on the open. But um, Canva is free. I use it for all of our social media posts, all the web, the web images and stuff like that. Uh, every now and then I'll have to hit them with Photoshop, but basically Canva will do everything you need for some basic photo editing and it just makes it super, super easy. So I would highly rec recommend it because it's free. So another thing we use a lot is Clipping Magic. So I believe I'm play paying Clipping Magic like $3.99 a month to be able to remove the background from like 10, 10 images or something like that. So these, when you have like a nice feature in your photo and you wanna get the background out cause it looks crappy or whatever, or you're trying to use that image over a background and having like, you know, the rectangle around everything just doesn't look good. Uh, Clipping Magic makes it super duper easy to remove the background. You know, you need, need a halfway decent image to work with, but I highly recommend Clipping Magic for that. Um, and then if you want to get really jiggy with it, you know, get Photoshop or, um, you know, Adobe Illustrator and all the Adobe Creative Suite stuff. There's also like GIMP and uh, I just had the other one, GIMP and Inkscape. So those are two free image editing softwares that like rival Photoshop. They're just not as user friendly. It, and that's just hard to believe with how unuser friendly that Photoshop is. So that's the reason I really can't recommend them, but I have used them in the past. I actually have one of my employees is really good on Inkscape. So if you do master it, it can be very beneficial to you. Uh, as far as these videos go, I am using Filmora by Wondershare and I really like it. It is like kind of a slow program. Like my new computer is super duper like over the top more than I need and Filmora still runs kind of slow on it. Photoshop, super fast, everything. Like Filmora is a bulky program apparently, but it makes editing the videos very, very easy. Obviously I'm not an expert at it, but as far as this cutting out, um, you know, the beginning, the ending, any pauses, uh, adding in transitions, overlaying text, adding images, all that stuff, you can do multiple videos at once. I mean, it's really, really cool. And you can try Filmora for free. And the, the only thing is, is they'll have their watermark on it until you pay them. And I wanna say it's somewhere around 80 bucks for a license for Filmora. So hopefully that price is right. I, I paid more than that and I got like um, multiple licenses and stuff like this. So I don't exactly know what that was, but I, I really, I would have to recommend it. Um, over trying to learn Premiere Pro. Oh my gosh, and Premiere Pro is gonna come with a monthly price and stuff like that. So, as far as like shooting stuff, uh, this is a GoPro Session 5. I really like it. I just have the glitch issue with the SD card. Sometimes it can't read it and then I can't shoot. Um, I use a Pixel 2 XL a lot when I'm just shooting off of my camera. Uh, obviously the Pixel phones are known for their camera quality and stuff like that. Um, and then I also have the Sony A6300 is my camera. 
my real uh, like professional camera, if you will. I definitely don't know how to use that yet. And then we also have the DJI uh, Mavic Pro drone, which I am really, really planning on using that much more next season and, and getting some footage of the local guys doing work so we can kind of go over what's going on and best practices and how to become more efficient, more profitable and all that kind of stuff. So, and then lastly, I just wanted to touch on the websites. So we're building WordPress websites using Divi from Elegant Themes. So we use the Divi theme, so we don't actually need the Divi Builder, but I believe the Divi Builder is free and works with almost any theme. So you can potentially use any theme you want if you wanted to for whatever reason, and then install the Divi Builder, uh, the plugin by itself, and go like that. But if you install the theme like we do, you don't need the plugin uh, because it's just built into the theme. And I know that it's a little more complicated than Wix and Squarespace and a GoDaddy site builder and stuff like this, but WordPress is like so massive because WordPress is really, really good. Uh, even my developers on staff are coming around to, oh, now we see why, why WordPress is so prevalent and you know, why the majority of websites are built with WordPress because it just, it has a lot of features and functionality built right in and it has all these plugins that you can just plug and play features um, definitely a little bit of a learning curve but yeah so that that is I think everything that we're really using <sighs> yeah oh and another thing is I bought Ethan's podcasting equipment uh, the other day so I am kicking around the idea of starting a podcast because why else would I buy podcasting equipment? Um, I, got, I think I got a pretty good deal on it because he is actually getting all new podcasting equipment bought for him by a client. Ethan is one hustling son of a gun. Uh, that boy makes money like he doesn't come home until he makes like a thousand dollars a day or something ridiculous and I kind of believe the guy because he's, he's hardcore. Um, but. Yeah, so I have all really super nice stuff. I mean, it was pretty uh, mid to top of the line last year. It's just a year old. So I'm kicking around the idea of getting the uh, getting the podcast going, which uh, if I do this, it's probably gonna be on like marketing a local business. Like that that's what my podcast will be about. That's like really what I'm passionate about. Like obviously websites and the SEO and stuff like that. But in my opinion, your marketing needs to be full circle. Even Google like sends out postcards and stuff like this. We just designed a postcard for uh, Chris with mowing lawns properly. And I'll be making a little video on that. And Chris is gonna get me the feedback on how the postcard performed as far as how many he put out and the response and etc cetera, etc cetera. so we'll see how it did and we can get some uh critique going on from from the audience of you know what do you think about the card i think it's pretty pretty simple slick you know easy to look at and understand what uh what his company does and why you would want to contact them and that's the whole point and then i made a special page on his website so that'll be in the video where i show like the power of you know making your offline marketing tie into your online marketing you want that to be a nice, nice smooth transition so we we pulled in all the same colors all the same fonts we use the same picture um all this kind of stuff and i took away the menu item so there's no home page and go to these other pages it's just like boom like you you came here to contact us here's a page that's kind of forcing you to contact us so that's kind of the power behind a landing page like that so that video will be coming out in the next couple weeks for sure but you already know uh well before you already know so check the links in the description it'll take you right to everything i mentioned in the video like i said a couple are affiliates um, if you have a problem with it, then you know just go straight to it. But like, for example, on like the the Audible affiliate, like if you use my link, you get two free books. If you go straight to Audible, they'll give you one free book on the trial. So there are benefits when you're using affiliate links. You are actually getting the best deal possible. So uh, I would just really appreciate it, and I really appreciate you watching the videos. And until the next video, keep making money.